I'm Dax Shepard, and I play Ruben in the Paw Patrol feature film, which is incredibly exciting. My children uh, could care less about anything I've been involved with creatively. This is the first thing they're excited that I've done. And uh, I'm playing a bad guy, Ruben. So that's the catch-22 of it all. Uh, and Ruben is one of Mayor Humdinger's henchmen. He's kind of a low-rent... I'm placing him in Jersey, kind of a Jersey gangster that's made his way into uh, Mayor Humdinger's circle. Uh, he's nefarious. Uh, he is, uh, he's prideful. He, uh, he's thin-skinned, and uh, he's endlessly searching to uh, advance his status in the world. As soon as you have kids, you start watching a lot of cartoons, and uh, some of them are uh, impossible to get through, and some of them are good. And uh, Paw Patrol was probably the first one that I loved watching with my kids, because there's always uh, an enormous challenge, there's vehicles involved, there's, uh, you know, R Rubble has uh, a bulldozer at his disposal, a lot of heavy equipment. And uh, you got fire trucks, you've got Sky and a helicopter, and we're a very uh, motorsports heavy family. So the fact that all those vehicles were involved um, made Paw Patrol probably my favorite cartoon that the kids um, got obsessed with. And I would say Paw Patrol is, was their number one obsession to, to date. And um, when I got involved with the movie, first of all, they couldn't even believe that. Um, I don't think they thought I was talented enough to be a part of the Paw Patrol family. But uh, beyond that, I got sent uh, an insane amount of Paw Patrol toys. And I had to film with them for some promotional stuff. And they were sitting on the porch. And I had told my youngest daughter that she couldn't open them until I had filmed the thing. And that was like a week out. And I have never seen her with such... Um, overwhelming anticipation as she was for these toys. She was counting down the hours for a week and checking in every few hours just to make sure she had it right. So like in six days, I get to open those. So yeah, they're a big, big part of our household. It would be hard to say who's the biggest Paw Patrol fan in the house. Uh, it, probably my, my six-year-old or myself. Um, again, the toys are everything. There's vehicles, there's so many clever vehicles. Uh, they shoot things, they float, you put them in the tub, you drive them around the sandbox. Uh, it, it's just a cornucopia of good time. But um, yeah, the six-year-old's still pretty darn obsessed. I would say my favorite pup is Rubble. He's so likable. Uh, again, he, he's a heavy equipment operator, which I respect. Um, <clears throat> My youngest daughter bear an uncanny resemblance to Rubble when she was a baby. We called her Rubble quite often. Um, yeah, so I've got a sweet spot for Rubble. Um, Chase is too earnest for me. He's like, he uh, wants to get the apple from the teacher. I'm not into those type of folks. Um, and then I'd say my daughters uh, are unanimous. They like Sky. You know, she's a pretty gangster helicopter pilot. And they respect the skills. I would find it hard to believe that any parent has a ch young child that isn't already obsessed with Paw Patrol. But if they're not, which again, I, I can't imagine that being the case, uh, there's no way they won't love Paw Patrol. There's so many characters and they represent all these different personality types. And they are tackling things that I think kids fantasize about tackling. Uh, they're solving huge problems. They're heroes and they're young. I think it's all like very wish fulfillment -y for children. And wish fulfillment -y is a, a word, so no need for you to look it up. What I think is really cool is that most kids thus far have watched Paw Patrol in their home, um, maybe even on a tablet, maybe on a, someone's phone. Um, with tops, maybe a sibling or two. So the notion that they could go to a theater and see these characters uh, two stories tall with a ton of other kids who also love it, I think all of us who make movies worry that the shared experience of watching movies together is um, in danger of disappearing. So... Any opportunity I have to reintroduce my kids to that 
experience that I valued so much growing up, I think is a great opportunity to save this wonderful experience. Another thing that's really immediately attractive about the Paw Patrol for kids is that my kids and all the kids that are in our friendship circle are just innately drawn to firefighters, to police, to what my sister lovingly labeled all these people helpers. So if the, an ambulance goes by, she'll go, oh, we got to get out of the way for the helpers. So my kids refer to all these responders as helpers. And so they've just always been fascinated by everyone in that line of work. So the fact that the characters each represent uh, some type of helper that they've already loved is, uh, you know, I think it's what helps make it so appealing. The most fun I will have with this movie has yet to happen. Um, it's so fun doing uh, cartoon voices. Um, the process itself is really fun. Um, but truly, I wanted to do it so that I could watch something with my kids um, that they would like. So that, that's yet to happen. So I know my, my favorite part of the experience is, is uh, forthcoming, which is exciting. It's like Christmas is around the corner.